to humor of your idleness. <laughs> Yet herein will I imitate the sun. He doth permit the base contagious clouds to smother up his beauty from the world. And when he please again to be himself, being wanted, he may be more wondered at by breaking through the foul and ugly mists of vapors that it seemed to strangle him. If all the year were playing holidays, the sport would be as tedious as to work. But when they seldom come, they wished for come. And nothing pleaseth but rare accidents. So when this loose behavior I throw off and pay the debt I never promise it, by how much better than my word I am, by so much shall I falsify men's hopes. And like bright metal on a sullen ground, my reformation, glittering o'er my fault, shall show more goodly and attract more eyes than that which hath no foil to set it off. I'll so offend, to make offense a skill, redeeming time when men think least I will. I will be the first man to kiss you, to bed you. Whether you come willingly or not, you will be mine, and mine alone, do you understand? Love After Love by Derek Walcott The time will come when with elation you will greet yourself arriving at your own door in your own mirror and each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit. Feast on your life. Angle to his bones. Twas then he felt alone. It hit him like a freight train moving with a simple twist of fate. They're all kind of dreaming of all the, the places that they're going to pillage and plunder. Oh, how high we will, we will be, cause the blue fairy dust surely packs a mighty wallop. Only takes us Soon it will set us free, we'll free from the chains of gravity. Then we'll hoist up the sail and we'll set course for the sun. Cause when you've got wings, no wicked deed cannot be done. And we owe it all to our great and glorious. Captain. Hook knows he's bad. He relishes being a pirate and having kind of these huge ambitions to, to steal and plunder. And as a child, you're partly afraid of him, but you partly love him. You're like, look at that man having so much fun being him. It works. It really works. And pretty soon we'll have enough dust to make the whole ship fly. Right, Zarina?